Ooh, girl, let me move Miss Dijon over and... Hey, girl. Howdy, 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 my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing, gorgeous? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Sagittarius, for January 2022. All right, darlings, so if you enjoy this tarot reading today, find some cards that resonate with you. Let me know in the comments below which cards resonate, and be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy those, this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe. All right, darling, uh, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Sagittarius, to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific, as well as be looking for the secret code word that pops up somewhere in this tarot video sagittarius to be writing down in the comments below so you get entered into a chance to win a completely free tarot reading by me darling all right so let's just see what it is that you're currently dealing with sagittarius let's see where the vibes currently at we're gonna do one more bridge shuffle and then we'll get right into this darling all right let's see here sagittarius you have the hanged man coming in here and perspectives changing darling perspectives changing perspectives shifting all right and then you have the seven of cups stepping forward to you and then it's through those perspective shifts you now left with the decision on what do you do next mm. six of cups coming in here darling Someone has, yeah, some of y'all have some people from their past trying to come in here, Sagittarius. That's what I see is going on. Even in the back of the deck, you have the Knight of Cups coming in, darling. All right. So as you have someone coming in from your past, Sagittarius, and they're coming in with some type of ultimatum, I feel. I feel as if it's, it's because of whatever it is they come in with, they are challenging your perspective with them. And just now you're at this place now, you're not sure what decision to be making here. And I feel like it's coming pretty, uh, coming in here pretty quickly. So uh, you, some of you Sagittarius is probably gonna be getting that text message or the knock on the door while you're receiving this reading. And then you're just like, oh, you know, you're like, oh crap, you know, it's happening here. Yeah. You have something coming in from the past. The reason why I say this is the Six of Cups coming in here. You look at the artwork of it, right? And, you know, it talks, starts with the little boy with their dog and then to the older, right? So it lets you know that there's history between you and whatever is knocking on the door. Hanged man comes in here. You know, this is like a situation where they come in with apologies, where they're like, I've changed, Sagittarius, you know. Um, I'm, I see things differently now, Sagittarius. You know, let's, let's try to make this work, right? And then Seven of Cups, that's where you're at, where you're just like, hmm, like, I don't know what to be doing with this, right? You know, it doesn't feel as if there's one single cup that makes the most sense for you. It feels like for you, you can see the pros of this and you also can see the cons of this. But at the same time, you even ask your heart when you're just like, well, heart, what do you, what, what do you think about this? Even in your heart, so there's this still like, your heart still beats for this connection here. You're just like, mm, I really want this, right? Because they did bring roses, right? Them bringing roses means that they've changed, right? wrong darling all right not to say that they haven't changed or improved on their last situation Sagittarius but what I can tell you darling is that you know emotions can have us do crazy things darling emotions can, can have us do crazy things here and so let's see what we can clarify with this right let's see what we can get with our true intentions about the situation with you Sagittarius all right what can we be getting with this what are their true intentions with you all right, we have the Eight of Swords coming in here. So they feel pretty stuck without you currently, Sagittarius. You know, did you provide to them? Did you, you know, you know what this is? Is like, did you cook for them? All right, did you cook for them? Do they not know how to make their own meals? You know, did you provide to them emotionally, physically, darling? How you doing? No judgment here. Um, I definitely feel that like, it's like whenever you walked away from them before, you definitely left them chasm in their life here where it's like you used to fill that chasm for them Sagittarius all right and then seven of cups clarifying the seven of cups man oh man Sagittarius some of you guys this is like a cycle in your life where it's like you know it's just and I feel like it's not like every situation in your life you know this is giving me an energy of someone that like they have a special place in your heart just because of the history that you have with one another but you quite literally have seven of cups clarifying the seven of cups here sagittarius what is the tea here daily what is the tea here come on now you have the seven of cups 
there's so many complexities here so, so it's like no matter even it's like one hand you ask your heart and you're just like ah, you know you can't figure it out you know your heart feels both ways and then you go to your brain and you're just like well brain what's logical and you can weigh it out as well over there too it's like well logically like they do add you know logically they take care of you know there's like you can there's no black and whiteness to this at all there's so many nuances to this and that's why i feel for many of you sagittarius is this is like a cycle in your life like this is probably a relationship in your life where it's like always like a up and down up and down up and down right you have the sun energy clarifying the six of cups here so for many of you Sagittarius's, y'all storyline isn't done with this person here ace of pentacles in the back of the deck here as well all right so i do feel like for many of you guys sagittarius this connection here is meant to be part of your life for a reason now for a little bit more at the very least and coming from me sagittarius all right my peeps already know my regulars already know that i'm never going to be the one to be telling someone it's like once you leave a situation darling i'm always gonna be like all right by Felicia, we ain't dealing with it no more. All right, but I do feel like with the sun energy here, um, you know, it's the most positive card in the tarot deck. It also talks about things being revealed as well, Sagittarius. All right, so I want to uh, challenge you guys on is that if you were to open up with this energy again, you know, make them tell the truth. You know, this is going to be for specific Sagittarius's here. For others, you ain't going to make sense. You're like, all right, whatever, Velka. But for some of you Sagittarius's, you need to force them to speak the truth about something because you already had a gut instinct about something um, and you never could really quite prove it. And they probably made you feel crazy when you would ever vote, whenever you would vocalize it here. But you need to bring that up again because there's an elephant in the room that you still sense here. And just because they're bringing roses, darling, doesn't mean that you need to just, you know, forget about that elephant. All right. You need to have some closure about some situation that went down between the two of you guys i feel saji all right all right now sagittarius <laughs> let's continue on here i'm gonna actually i'm curious about i'm curious a little bit more sagittarius i'm gonna be delving into i'm, I'm invested now darling i want to go into a little bit more detail about this like what are their emotions towards you sagittarius what are their emotions towards you Let's see what we can be getting. I'm I'm invested now, honey. If I'm going to be telling you Sagittarius is that there's still more to the story here, I want to make clear that we that you have all the information here. We have the Eight of Pentacles coming in here, Sagittarius, with the Four of Pentacles coming in here. And then, darling, we have the Seven of Wands coming in here. Okay, Sagittarius. So what I see going down here is like, if this is just a connection between you and them, Sagittarius, I feel like things would be thriving. Things would be fabulous here. I really do feel that way. But where the complications come in here is like outside noises coming in here. This is like their their friends or like their family or maybe even side and like you know for the for the specific few, maybe even like a side piece that's you, honey. All right. Um that it's like for you Sagittarius like how the impact that you had in their life is that you were not the outside noise you weren't just more white noise to them you weren't just another side piece you weren't just another booty call you weren't just like another friend that they could just gossip to and have no substance that's the thing Sagittarius all right and that's where I think that y'all always would end up having that friction and start colliding a little bit is because it's like you ain't like everybody else Sagittarius all right if you're going to invest in a situation you better be coming in educated you better be coming in correct you better be coming in mature and be able to vocalize things and know what it is that you want and be about that action here you ain't about that you ain't about those games here and I feel like for them, they were not used to that initially, Sagittarius. They were used to just like the white noise and the people that would just gas them up and just, you know, very vapid here. And so for them, their feelings towards you is like they acknowledge just like how different you are from everything else. And I feel like for them, there's just like this adjustment period of where it's just like, you know, maybe for them, like you are going to be their first experience at something that's a lot more serious, a lot more long term here. Justice energy coming in, clarifying that eight of pentacles with the six of cups coming in here. Justice energy is Libra energy, by the way. Six of cups coming in, clarifying that four of pentacles here. And then we pull the other Libra energy here, which is the Empress uh, card here. Do they have a strong Libra in their chart, uh, Sagittarius? I'm curious. It doesn't have to be. I'm just noticing like we got both of the Libra energy. So I'm just like, okay, girl. Um, 
So with this here, Sagittarius, like one, they can't get you off their their mind. Uh, you left a mark on them, Sagittarius, right? Um, they pro some of them probably even think that you did some type of voodoo on them or some type of magic on them, Sagittarius, right? Are you open? Do you have an open craft or something like that, uh, Sagittarius? Because I get from them, like they see you as like a more mystical being in a way where, especially with the justice energy, it's like they acknowledge that you put, you handle justice, you manipulate energy in some whichever way and you like they see you in a very like the very mystical way i want to be pointing out sagittarius and with this empress energy like all right i do see from them like we're not getting any shady cards here sagittarius admittedly okay admittedly you know this is growing on me a little bit we're not getting any shady cards here all right we have here the ace of pentacles being in that back of the deck and then with the knight of wands being in the back of the deck here this is just someone who is used to just playing a lot sagittarius this is someone who's used to just playing a lot and just getting what it is that they want without even trying or without having like because they're just so used to things being given to them then like being in like this big old echo chamber here sagittarius like I'm gonna be honest here I feel as if like the only the only reason why this relationship this connection doesn't work between the two of you guys is just because of the fact that just like how different you are from anything that they're used to all right so they just have some maturing or just you know that adjustment period I suppose Sagittarius so honey I told you I was invested honey what else do we have coming in for you Sagittarius what else is manifesting in y'all's lives right now? Let's take a look here. What else is manifesting in my Sagittarius's lives right now? You have the Emperor energy here. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius. Okay. You also have the Two of Cups coming in here. Sagittarius, this energy is not leaving, darling. Oh my gosh, <laughs> now I'm voice cracking, honey. I can't even, uh, I'm just so flabbergasted with this as well. Queen of Pentacles coming in here. I feel like for you, Sagittarius, y'all are manifesting uh, like in a way like some connection in your life and it could be completely separate from this but you're manifesting connections in general i feel actually in your life that really complement your energy in ways i feel like you're finding people like finding more of your tribe you're attracting more of your tribe right now sagittarius people who inspire you people who help make you realize who you actually are sagittarius and help you help motivate you in ways um this is like an energy where it's like you're finding other bosses here it's like you're you're already bossed up here sagittarius and now you're attracting inner circle bossed up other fellow bossed up energies but the thing about this is like i feel like they also add some sense of value in your life here maybe there's something something that you wanted to, de to delve more into sagittarius right maybe you wanted to learn more about um i don't know like youtube or you know whatever it is replace youtube with whatever i feel like these you're manifesting connections in your life that are able to provide substance to you and to really assist you in getting from point a to point b in some way it's almost like you're manifesting like mentors but not like just like a student mentor dynamic it's like friendships but they like you really learn from one another you're able to work together is what i feel let's clarify these full energy here yeah these are fresh connections coming in here Sagittarius this is the time to be networking this is the time to be opening up you're really manifesting some fresh connections here that really are going to be adding a lot of de uh, depth death energy here on that two of cups huh with the knight of wands darling all right so part of the you know I know we talked about in the that first row darling back of the deck is the magician energy and what is the back of the deck for here is that knight of wands again darling all right so that knight of wands can't escape you darling all right and the magician energy until you break out of this cycle with this first row the first couple rows that i was talking about with that person honey i feel as if you like 
these other connections are going to have a little bit of a hard time connecting with you. Not to say like if this other thing was a romantic situation, these other connections here are romance here, but for whatever the reason is, it's like your energy is so distracted with this old cycle that just keeps coming back and forth, back and forth, just yo yo like you can't escape one another here. Until you put a closure in that book there, uh, Sagittarius, I feel like this energy here is just going to be sitting and waiting. You have to make more time for this, Sagittarius, is what I feel. You have to make more time for this, all right? Are there any other cards that need to be coming forward for you, Sagittarius? Very straightforward reading here, but y'all, Sagittarius, y'all also are like my most unique that I've done so far here this week. So it's like, girl, which, what you got going on, Sagittarius? Come on down. <sighs> I love me my Sagis. I, I feel like I always say it, but I love a Sagittarius's energy. Us Libras, honey, and Sagittarius's, we are two peas in a pod, honey. I love me a Sagittarius. I love their passion. I just, uh, I, um, girl, this is this is your reading. Y'all ain't here to hear me gas you up. Chariot energy coming in here with the Seven of Pentacles and Nine of Cups coming in as well. <clears throat> Be ready for different opportunities setting up for you, uh, Sagittarius, and be ready. Uh, be sure that you're ready to take on the responsibility once these things do come in. All right, you have some. You have these. You have new opportunities, things that you could be making time for to really manifest more in your life, um, to elevate your life in some facet, whether it's in your living situation. But many of you guys, it's like your career finances. Be sure that you're ready to take on these new responsibilities. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. Make sure that your schedule is clear, is what I hear. So we're going to be pulling two, I guess, two animal oracle cards for you, Sagittarius. Usually I only do one, but I kind of spoil my Sagis anyways. Uh, Wolverine spirits, you're a lot tougher than you think you are, Sagittarius, all right? You're a lot tougher than you think you are. So maybe some of you guys, you're clinging onto that old connections, I think, just because they what it is that they could have provided for you. And then you have the Falcon energy. Act on the opportunity that is before you and commit to it without equivocation, all right? And so this is what exactly what I was just talking about with the Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Cherry energy. This is what this is talking about here. All right. You're going to be having different opportunities, very opportune things, especially when it comes to connections. Um, again, I feel for you, Sagittarius, that you need to be ready to be making time for. All right. So take that as you will. We're going to pull a moon oracle card uh, for you or two, depending on if your energy is asking for it, darling. And I never can tell my Sagittarius is now. I feel like I spoil y'all spoil the most. You have the new moon in Virgo. It's time to give rather than take here. All right. It's time to give rather than take. Interesting energy. I feel like Sagittarius, for you guys, I think you need to be giving to different energies. You know, I feel like you need to be reinvesting in new energies. That's the thing. I feel like y'all are just manifesting right now, like new potential connections in your life. And I feel like you need to lead further into that. All right. So that's what I got for y'all right now. Hopefully you found some cards that did resonate with you, Sagittarius. All right. I love you guys so much. If you enjoy this reading here today, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. If you want to book a private personal reading with me, Sagittarius, my website's linked down below. Simply Velcro dot com next to my social medias tiktok instagram and facebook all of those are just simply velka all right darling and i'll be connecting with y'all sometime in the near future bye sagittarius